Oh. My. Ever. Loving. God. And life will get hard. And all that you want is to give up. But I will lead you out the dark. Sorry I'm late, did we start yet? Welcome to the party. We're all here because of the email. Well, who called for this Molly crew? Come on, who sent the emails? I didn't. I didn't either. You mean to tell me Mrs. Camp Counselor over here didn't get this together? <laughs> no, I didn't. Well, who did? Uh, I don't know, but why don't we start with some introductions? I think I found the only four people in this school that I don't know. You know me. I do? Yeah, we've had like two computer classes together, back to back even. I took computer? Well, all class skipping aside, I guess I'll start introductions. Hi, my name is Claire Sofiora and I'm an alcoholic. Well, my name is Riley Payton Camp and I'm 17 years young and I'm super thrilled to be here with you guys. Thrilled? Hi, I'm Dustin Rashford, 16. And I'm moderately indifferent to be here. I'm a visitor to Paulus. I'm 16, and I'm comparatively apathetic to be here. I'm Delilah Felden. I'm 17, and I'm fairly tepid to be here. Not quite. Yeah, next time. So, why are we here? Well, well we all got the email, and it said be here, or else. Well, yeah, obviously, but did we all get the same email with the same or else? Well, I got one that said if they, if I didn't come, then they would have told my parents or else, which is kind of a jerk move, but I'll let it go. Mine said the whole school would find out by morning. Mine's going to tell my coach. So what are we supposed to talk about, though? I mean, is it the same for all of us? Mine, I have to guess. So we've all tried to kill ourselves. I mean, what? Is anyone else going to say? Is that it? That's what we're all here for? So that's what this is. A support group. The hell are we supposed to do with that? Well, I'm pretty sure we're supposed to talk about our problems with peers our own age and work through it together. But, um... Okay, but what are we actually going to do? Definitely not that. Well, we still don't know who sent the emails. And? And uh, we should figure it out, right? I mean, find the person who put us all here. That would be something to do. And I'm certainly not going to be spilling any deep dark secrets with you guys today. Well, let's do it then. How? Well, we all got email, right? Why don't we start from there? Who's up first? Oh, come on. Somebody's got to give it up. Eeny, meeny, miny, you. Me? Yeah. Okay, I'll pull it up. So, uh, how's Mrs. Margaret? You know, she's doing good. Momming around, keeping busy. That's good, that's good. Uh, I'll stop by. Tell I said, hey. Yeah, you should. How's Miss Vidalia? How should I know? Mrs. Uh, PTA president is almost never home. <laughs> is she ever? Uh, I, I got it. It's the same as mine. So we all got the same one. Well, that's not very helpful then. Well, let's give it a closer look. What else are we going to look at? Have we actually checked who sent it? 
It's a weird address. It's Angel of Heart at Wilson EDU. So it's a school address. Well, where else would it come from? I mean, we are in the school. It could have been personal teacher's email. <laughs> yeah, but it's not. Maybe we should just check a school email. And who the hell is gonna let us check their email? I mean, did he say that we had to ask? I don't know. Maybe we shouldn't be doing this. Maybe we should ask first. Look, it's always easier to ask for forgiveness than it is to ask for permission. Oh, thank you, Gabby, but trust me, it's fine. I've done this before. Seriously? You broke into a teacher's email before? No! Shelly just lets me. I just go through her emails, check school stuff. It's fine. Shelly? Yeah. Wait, you have a computer. Yeah, but I mean... But what? I mean, I have an email, but my parents aren't exactly aware of that. Okay. What? I think we may have found a clue. What'd you say your last name was again, Delilah? Felden. Why? Well, there is an email here for a D. Felden. My dad is David Felden. Well, I think we should pay a visit to your old pops. Is this really the only car? It's a good car! I can't drive this. Can you? No, I haven't gotten to test yet. And I'll drive. Me neither. So, this is what we've got. And he is great. So, Delilah, what are you going to say to your dad? I don't know. What should I say? I mean, he did sign you up for a support group. You could always, I don't know, just an idea. Start with what put you here in the first place. I don't know. It's not something we really talk about. Well, maybe you should talk to him about it. It's not like it could be that bad. What? We all did it. It can't. I mean, it wasn't that bad, I guess. I was a pretty average, run-of-the-mill kid up until a few summers ago. I made the world's oldest mistake and fell in love. He was a really nice kid, but that's all we were. Kids. He decided that his time was better spent on prettier girls. I didn't take it very well. Long story short, my dad found me in the bathtub. A nice little hospital visit and a pinky promise that I won't do it again, and I guess we've made peace with it. Well, was it a cross for attention or a down for results? A cross, actually. I might have been more successful had I known the saying. Hey, Dad. I did not think Tuesday was going to go like this. I didn't either. Well, so, oh, you you can go. I was told that it was supposed to be anonymous. I, I, I got an email from somebody at the school, and, and I figured I'd sign you up. And it sounded good for you. I mean, after the bathtub, you haven't really been talking to anybody. And I thought it'd be good for you. Okay. I'm sorry, I I should have talked to you before I put your name down. It, it's okay. Maybe next time, though, instead of talking to someone else, we could try instead. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we could do that. Anytime. Thanks, Dad. I guess you don't need that group after all. I mean, I, I thought it sounded it's good. It's good. It's good. I think it's good for me, too.